So the next step now is to install the, the board. The board is going to mount onto the mounting plate here with these screws on this side towards the back of the printer. Depending on the configuration as shipped, you may need to raise the mounting plate in order to make it easier to access the underside of the board. Um, and we'll see later why that's important. Basically, when you, once you mount the board, there's a bunch of wires that you gotta plug in. And they all plug into the bottom of the board. And so if this is really down low, it'll be very difficult to access all the slots that you will need to access on the board to plug in. And so it'll be easier to lift this guy up and then so it's loose I've only put one screw in here because we're going to need to move this again so these other three are loose and there's one tight screw here and that'll be good enough for now so let's see what's inside of this board package what's got inside this board package is we've got The board itself and we've got a small ziploc bag the small ziploc bag has a whole bunch of jumpers in it and fortunately we will not need to use these jumpers and there is an aluminum heat sink in there and we will need to apply the heat sink so i'm just going to leave it here for now so i don't lose it um, we'll apply the heat sink afterwards and we see that there are these nylon standoffs here with screws and um, and three nylon nuts. And so we have to basically put this in and then we'll put the nylon nuts on the back. So for now, we are going to need to take the nuts off. So let me take the nuts off, put them somewhere here where I'm not gonna lose them. And then there's three holes here. It's gonna line up the three holes. and put it in. Let's flip this over so you can see. They kind of all need to go in at the same time. If you try to get one in first, then the other two will be out of alignment because it'll be crooked. So you need this thing to kind of go in flat and uniform. So I was kind of trying to push in all three at once and there we got this through. Now we're on. And I'll put these now on balls. It's actually quite held in quite well by by tension now because you did see that it took a little bit of trouble to get all the holes aligned. So there is some tension here. And then Get these, get all of these pretty snug. And since this is all plastic, right, this is a nylon nut on a nylon screw, um, you could use a hex driver of some sort to tighten these up, but you would not want to really torque down on these hard. Um, it would be easy to break these if you turn them too hard since everything since these are all plastic right they're plastic so that there's some good insulation we don't have any shorts and to be honest i found hand tightening to be just fine so there we go mounted on so we've got the board here and the way that the board is board fits on they're all of these um these ports are visible from the bottom. So we've got this, and then the next step is to apply the
heat sink. We probably could have done this before. But I'm going to get the heat sink out of the box, out of the bag. And then we're done with this bag. Don't need these jumpers anymore, so I'll go put this into the box of stuff we don't need. So this is going to go on to the stepper driver. The stepper driver is this sub-assembly here. It's a uh, Kind of on the upper right of the ramps board and it's this kind of green PCB that's plugged into these um, into these connectors here and what we need is we need to stick the um, the heatsink right onto this chip here in the center which is the stepper driver. Stepper driver has a lot of current running through it and thus generates heat. And so what I'm doing is I need to remove the, there's a little backing, a sticker backing here. I'm going to take this off and then I'm just going to stick this onto the chip in the middle. And then we'll be good. Then we got to wire up the electronics. So let's see if we can get a little bit closer so you can see what these electronics look like. All right, this may be as close as I can get. Um, get this. So we've got the cable here and you'll see that there's a couple of colors on this cable here. If we take a look there's like a, a yellow, blue, green, red. We want red facing up. All right. So we position this cable such that it is oriented vertically with the red wire at the top and the yellow wire at the bottom. And then on the board, directly to the left of the stepper driver is two columns of four pins. And that there are four wires here and four pins here is not a coincidence. We will fit here. Um, this here is a z-axis for uh, typically for FDM printers and so you'll notice that there's something interesting here in that next to to the left of where we have this stepper there are two columns but then if you look down at the next slot below it and this is this would be for a second stepper driver there's only one and you go down here and this one's labeled X this one's labeled Y there's also only one column, but here there's two columns. Um, it doesn't really matter for our purposes which column we put them in. Um, the reason why there are two columns because in a filament printer uh, there are often two steppers that need to be synchronized uh, to drive the z-axis, the up-down. And so you can then put two steppers in here and since they're both plugged into the same same stepper driver they would be synchronized. We only have one and both of these columns actually will all get the same signal so it doesn't really matter which one 
we stick it into. I think if we look at the documentation, the documentation is plugged into the left column, the one that's further away from the stepper. And that's a pretty good spot. It's further away from the stepper, it's better clearance, it's easier to access this column of pins. Uh, so, so let's do that, right? Red facing up, and we're going to stick it into then this left set of column of pins that is to the left of the stepper driver. So we want to make sure that all four are lined up. And then we're going to plug this in. Push it until it's seated. And here now it's on the table, I can look from above and see, okay, I've pushed this all the way until I got a plastic on plastic contact and we are, we're good to go.